call them alibis, collages of um, faces of like really fashionable women because I kind of felt like people who would like show up for me when I needed them to show up. No two have ever been the same and they kind of like all have their own personalities and identities and in some way, shape or form, I feel like they're all kind of like traces of myself. I was in China and I was so overwhelmed by people who would like come up to me, try to touch my hair, be following me, trying to take pictures of me. I felt like I needed to come up with a way to deal with unwanted attention. The eyes, initially they started out as the eyes of the viewer and then I would like put layers underneath to kind of like separate people who were looking at me from the actual figure. And then I have like the double eye because I kind of felt like there was this double consciousness. The eye that I know about myself and then the eye that other people see. I was playing with traditional Chinese ink and I thought it was really interesting to take this material that is used in China all the time for so many different things, calligraphy, um, Chinese traditional painting. And I love the idea that it was just so black. The ink was really dark and rich. So then I started creating like what I felt to be like skin. It, it was really therapeutic to take this material that is so traditionally Chinese and use it in the same way to make the thing that so many Chinese people stare at me for. When I was a kid, I used to have these paper people that I would draw their clothes and I would give them names and I would dress them up and then I would like cut them out. So they were kind of like paper dolls. And so to be honest, I feel like these are an extension of that. I'm kind of playing <laughs> to make sense of what I was experiencing. And I would say that I'm a collage based artist sharing stories and ideas about things that I care about and things that I think are important in the world. Collage has transformed my ideas about what art could be. Usually, like I think about a studio, like a lab, for trying out different things. But for me, it's changed, and I think it's changed this year mm -hmm. because I don't necessarily have this space that I was supposed to be in. Because I've been displaced this year, having to come to the UK um, from China because of the pandemic. This room is like my sister's old bedroom. It's like this energy in here that I feel like I can create and feel safe while creating. I'm really excited about my first exhibition called I Am Because You Are. It'll be opening um, March 2021 at Bermuda National Gallery. I actually visited Bermuda Archives last summer and I was looking for like old photographs of black people in Bermuda. What I came across was the slave registry book. The way that the names work in the book, it's like the first name of the slave, no last name, and then it's the information of the slave owner as well as the color of the skin of the person, what sex they were, and their job. Where did they come from? What were their identities? What kinds of things were they interested in? Like, you know, they were human beings, not just property. And so I've actually been working on um, a series of collage digital portraits um, and reimagining who these people could have been. So you can see some of the portraits. So I'm taking found imagery and uh, merging together faces to create a new identity. So I'm like totally a geek and a nerd about it. <laughs> you can see like the faces are merged together. Like these are three different photographs. And then I've reassigned each person an African name. So it's all about like emancipating and the freeing of people. You know, like the, the release of um, this energy or this weight, I think that we've kind of like carried as a people, almost like subconsciously. Mm -hmm. And these paintings that I'm working on now are also gonna be in the exhibition. And what I did was I painted some of the faces and then I tore them. I have seven portraits that I have here. So the eyes that are on 
the portrait are the eyes of the person in the photograph. Mm -hmm. But the noses are different, the mouths are different. It's just like this splitting of who these people were. And like this curtain as a way to kind of like point to this veil that exists about this history. I've dressed them in a way that I feel like gives them some dignity and respect because I feel like we deserve that. Who we are now, the strength of us, the resilience of us, the fact that like we're still here and we're still standing is showing that we are a resilient people. I think there's a moment where we think about, okay, wait, what is it that I want to be doing? And I actually went to law school and that was crazy because I absolutely hated it. <laughs> It was at that moment like doing what I didn't want that what I did want became like absolutely clear. Like this was something that I wanted from the depths of me, like my entire soul and to wake up every day and to be able to do the thing that I love is so rewarding. Thank you. Thank you.